actually we kind of show it all though because we have to get to back to we've been trying to find the one pound racket or two pound racket for ages. We're going to three pound bands. I can't find it. So we're going to a different place and we're going to go to some shop and we'll find time and we're going to find a look for them. They better, have, they better have it, I'm going to join. You're literally mad. So these are the mid-tier rackets. As we see in Sports Direct, they're like 30 something pounds, 20 something pounds. Five pounds? Yeah, let's get it, I'm not even joking. Basically, uh, this is 120 grams. That's like not even three years. Bro, I swear that's like the same weight as a... International player. No, 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 that TR1. Oh, yeah, yeah. The training racket, isn't it? I swear the training racket is like 70 pounds. So bad. Yes. Why don't you spend five pounds on this instead? Bampton fact. Did you know a Bampton racket has a grip? Because you need to hold a racket. Bampton was actually created in India and then the uh, the English looked at it and then they decided to make it that their sport. That is actually somewhat accurate. I mean, actually somewhat accurate. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you know, the last time I actually shopped out at Sports Direct was literally, I'm not even joking, like five years ago. <laughs> Did you know the first Bampton racket that I've ever bought was at Sports Direct? Did you know I'm black? Bro, try to have a serious no, no, try to have a serious conversation with Fifi, yeah? So what do you think about Brexit? So here is the five pound racket. This is the unboxing. Do you like the unboxing experience? You, you know the nice case. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Are you serious? Now basically, yeah, we're testing out something. Because there's so much background noise in a lot of my videos. Look at this. I can just stand here. And I can whisper. <laughs> it's really heavy. You know when I swung that, yeah, I literally felt like my wrist was gonna snap in half. Oh my days, man! Literally, look, I added a bit of flex to it. This gives it a nice rotational power. Days. Hold up, yeah, look at this racket, bro. 2019, yeah. Tell me why this racket has a bloody external T-joint. Here we have the Aeroblade 1.0 by Carlton. This racket is not meant to be high quality, obviously, because as you can tell by the price tag, yeah. Like, the grommets, if you zoom in very, very closely, I don't know if you can see on the camera, the grommets, yeah, they're literally dilapidated, bro. I've never seen grommets yet in so long that look like this out of the shop. Normally, these cheaper rackets, they're made from steel. Well, steel is not like the ideal material to use in a badminton racket yes, because once you hit it, it doesn't return to its shape as easily and the stiffness and flexibility just isn't ideal for power it and is. response. It is. How? Do you want to demonstrate why? Yes, let me demonstrate, please. Well, I mean, that is quite an extreme demonstration of this material, but as you can tell, this is definitely not returning back to its original shape. Apex does a lot of rackets that are very, very similar to the high-end Leaning and Yonix rackets. And I mean, they're very, very good quality. Surprisingly, for the price tag that they offer, it is really, really good. As you can tell, like literally, yes. the, from the clips you can see, the power is there and there is decent control. I mean, obviously it's not as good as like the top quality Astrox 88. Ones, yeah. yeah, but for what you're paying, 30 pounds for some of these, 50 pounds for more expensive ones. These are more suitable for a lot of people. So the material is uh, in this Apex racket, dual, dual 100. It's graphite. It's graphite. Yes. And it says speed. That means you have speed. It says power. That means you have power. Not even liters. <laughs> Not even liters. Not even liters. Not even liters. Not even liters.
price does not mean any racket is good. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't just say, oh, just because a racket's 200 pounds, it's gonna be much better than a 50 pound racket. Yep. And I know there's gonna be people out there. I know it's you, Rakesh. Exactly. I know it's you, Josh. I know it's you, Zach. You're going to comment down below that you're gonna say that it doesn't matter what racket if a good player is going to use it because they're gonna beat me anyway. And then you're gonna say I'm bad because I use expensive rackets. What's up, your mom? Okay, as you guys know, on this channel, I review a lot of rackets and here are some of the rackets I review. I haven't reviewed this leaning one, but I've reviewed the Astrox 99 and the Astrox 88D. These are some of the top S tier rackets in my opinion. So here we have head heavy balances, stiff shafts. Well, most of the very high end rackets tend to be stiff shafts, whereas like in the middle tier, they tend to be medium flex. For, whereas for the Carlton tier, now, nah, okay, that's just peak because not all their rackets are bad. It's just that one. Yeah, true. Okay, that racket tier, yeah. I don't even know what the flexibility for those rackets are. Like, literally, it doesn't out. flex. As soon as it flexes, you've got to throw that racket away. <laughs> it's like a disposable racket. So these rackets, why do they have a stiff shaft? Well, they give you a bit more feedback and a bit more power, only if you have a good technique. So, me like, medium to more flexible shafts give you a bit more, kind of like an easier push and a bit more power, just with, like, a slightly poorer technique. But these ones, you need to have laid down your foundations good before you can make use of them. So it's no good giving this to a beginner and thinking, wow, he's going to play like Lee Chong Wei. So now on to the verdict. Which tier is the most worth it in your opinion? Apex. Apex? So the middle tier, you think? Yeah, because it's worth, it's, it's a budget performance racket and it's worth your money, especially where you can go up to 38. They, they say you can put it up to 38, but once you put it to 38, you're going to pay for another racket again. I agree that the middle tiers are really, really good. They are really really quality rackets for a decent price but however because rackets tend to be long-term investments you don't go out to tesco's every single day and buy a new racket you literally buy one use one for a couple years and if you spread the cost once you get a good solid racket and you get used to it and use it for many years it's definitely worth it and it doesn't seem that expensive after all it's better off to get a solid racket in the higher price range than like the middle tier and definitely not the bottom tier. Even if you're starting uh, player, don't waste your money on that. Just twenty gram racket. Yeah, just don't <laughs> get that. It is not enjoyable to play with. Honestly, <laughs> bro, it literally makes me want to go play curling or something. <laughs> Did you hear the string tension that this racket came with? Comment down below any video ideas that you want us to see. Thank you so much for watching, and I'd like to end this video by thanking all my patrons for supporting me all along. Thank you. They've been making donations every single month, even the smallest ones, like one dollar a month, and it makes a massive difference. And there, we'll be posting exclusive content. Me and Fi what are you doing? I'm not even joking. Every time I go edit the videos, I look behind me, and then I just see what's happening. <laughs>